got a fairly common uh, Singer foot controller here and it's not uh, obvious how to get into one of these foot controllers there's no screws um, exposed but there is a, a bit of a giveaway uh, you might not be able to see it on camera but down in uh, there we, I can see a, a shaft there which is a screw and if we have a, a we uh, poke around there we can see that there is something under here we get the screwdriver in just a matter of getting it in the right position we will find Actually puncturing it is not a bad thing. It's a straight headed screw. Just unscrew that. Make sure the foot controller is unplugged before you do this, obviously. Live parts inside here. And not quite put that right out. And there we go. And probably the main reason to um, get into here is to replace this uh, capacitor here, which uh, quite often will uh, fail. They're, they're designed to fail safe, so they're not going to short circuit or um, anything like that, but they can get hot, they'll blow a bit of smoke, they might go with a bang and give you a fright. Um, I would be tempted to leave the machine unplugged when you're not using it because of this. Um, I guess, you know, this is probably um, a fire retardant, I would say, this plastic, I think it's plastic, actually quite a brittle type um, plastic, I wonder if it's um, Bakelite actually, um, could be, but anyway, I would say that um, this would be fire retardant so I, you know I don't think that would be a problem but I wouldn't risk it anyway so leave the machine unplugged when you're not using it and um, th this capacitor here can be uh, replaced fairly easily with another capacitor that's a 0.1 microfarad capacitor X class so it's designed to go across the mains you can see there the uh, live and the neutral uh, these are the color codes for New Zealand brown is live, blue neutral, and X class. Uh, you want an X2 capacitor on there um, for just a little bit of uh, noise suppression on the mains, and just I think it helps to stop arcing um, in this area as well. So you know, in the contacts and bits and pieces. So yeah, people would you know just cut them out, throw them out. You can um, use the machine without a capacitor in it. Uh, but I would replace it. Yeah, they're, they're not expensive. Um, pretty easy to find those capacitors there. So when you're putting it back together, just make sure that the you have the springs back in position there. They can come off and they locate into these holes here when you bring that back together. You can put the like that and then um, get your screwdriver back in here and you can actually see the screw when you're putting it back together the key is to get the head of the screwdriver into the slot probably first like that close that making sure the springs and then just a matter of Screwing it up like that. Just like that. 